Right, so we're going to start testing motors, starting with this Casablanca Zephyr and Chrome. Let's go ahead. Sounds like the bearings to do some work. But the speed regulator does feel like it works. So, Zephyr works. Next up is this fan over here. Be right back. Next up for the motors only is this Murray Thesis. High speed, medium speed. Oh, you know I did it wrong. High speed, medium speed, low speed. Pulled twice on accident. Reverse function does work. Very good bearings, very good spin down time. This is it off, by the way. There that is. Next up is the other coat up and the misfit finish. Alright, back with this coat up tap made Ogre fan. This is the just motor. Need some TLC, it sounds like. But it does work just for me. Next up, Evergo Hunter Original Copy. Next motor is this Hunter Original Copy made by Evergo. Based on the tag, you can tell it's Evergo slash Indian. Let's go ahead and go through pieces. So, hi. Medium. Low. Off. Oh. Sound works good and the bearings sound good in it too. Next fan is this Olympus, I believe. No tags. I believe it's been uh, known as Olympus. Kind of afraid of this thing because it's got kind of a crushed. Uh, speed box thing that's I got a metal knob to it so I'm gonna try and be careful using this thing because I don't know what's gonna happen there's the fortune down here the capacitor down here so this fan she does have blades only has three blades though it's missing the fourth one but this will be tested next all right next is this mod for Olympus Oh. Aerial speed does work, I believe. Pull chain. I can grab it. Oh, it goes gone now. Pull chain is the reverse for it. Fan does work. I'm shocking myself. A loud disconnect. Part of a lot of amps. This one has smooth bearings and it's quiet. I'm 
it's kind of like the ornate looking to it. It's very cool. We've got a huge spinner motor in there. Very big. Very heavy. <laughs> so there that is. Alright. As a continuation from that video, we're going to go over here. And we have this Moss Caribbean Breeze copy thing, I think. And it's hard to say what it is exactly. Let's go ahead and... Ah. Well, it didn't work, did it? Oh. So back to this thing. Here's that Moss Caribbean Breeze. Down for a second. High speed. Thanks for watching. As a bonus clip, this is the one thing I did not test. This is also one from Matthew at Warrat. This one. I can't see the label and start to see what this thing says. It's a moss thing. I don't know what it is exactly. Um, but the reason I haven't tested this one is because I don't know how the wiring goes. The wiring's all apart. It also has a very big, heavy, large spinner motor in it. And blade arms. That's all the motors, except for those two new inbox ones I'll be doing later on tonight. Alright, here is this new inbox wind machine motor. Has brackets, has mounting hardware, and double claw, and all that stuff. Just testing the motor by itself. So let's go ahead and. Medium, low, off. Everything checks out the motor. Brand new box, looks super clean. Hums a little bit because it's on top of styrofoam and, you know, in a box. So, can the echo a little bit. No, no. Very nice dark brown coloration. Look at some uh, Jacksonville blades on it, probably. Alright, one more fan to go. And here we have the last new box fan, which is a lifetime ceiling fan. Once again, same thing, has all the brackets, mounting hardware, and stuff to it. It's a very heavy motor. Also hummy, but same reason probably it's in a box on top of styrofoam. I'm gonna stop the lightning out on this one. Oh, it's a very heavy cast iron motor in there. Alright, that's the last of the motors. Thanks for watching.